she's a good person and a really good cook. <laughs> I love her cinnamon rolls at Christmas time and she's a good friend. We have boys that have come home from a mission and said, I know how to hem my pants because of what you taught me in drama. I know how to hem my pants correctly because it cost me a dollar to get them back when they were on the floor <laughs> during a show. And you taught me how to hang my pants correctly. I knew how to do that on my mission to people coming back and saying, I can be confident in a job interview because I had drama with you. I can do public speaking because of what you taught me. I know how to, to write a correct resume because you taught me. She didn't just direct a play and teach you about a proscenium theater as opposed to a black box theater. She, I used to joke that we should have t-shirts that say, Mama B and Mama D, we raise them right. Because she just sent them out there with so much more than just how to be in a play. I worked very closely with Agnes as the choir director at Timpanogos High School and we frequently collaborated in in musicals and in the all-school musical and in her plays. Um, I believe she even got me into tights in one of her plays. That might not ever happen again, so thank you, Agnes. Um, she, I think that part of my inspiration in working with her was seeing her passion in helping students achieve and realize and get beyond themselves and find a role, find a passion and I remember our very first show when I came to the high school was Footloose. And she you know, would, would get teary as she explained to the students the meaning of the show for her and of the underappreciated and the forgotten and the importance that they could, that they could find that in themselves and find strength through acting and through sharing stories. I remember going down to pick up some costumes once from her at Timpanogos High School, and I sat in the back of the auditorium waiting for her to go on a break so I could get those costumes from her. And I remember sitting there and being so impressed with everything she was doing on the stage. Her kids loved her, and it was obvious. She taught them some amazing things and gave them some amazing opportunities. Agnes has always been so incredibly positive. I knew that if there was ever anything I needed as an educator, as a person, all I had to do was call Agnes and she'd be there for me. One of the things that I, I'm amazed by is her ability to do everything. <laughs> now, watching her uh, as a high school student, she, uh, she did the costumes, she did the set, she did the directing, uh, she did everything. And uh, the sound, the lights, uh, she, she always did such, an, such a crazy amount of work. And that was something I really was impressed by her is that her love for the arts allowed me to love the arts as well and she created an opportunity for me to uh, progress and learn and grow in the arts and uh, right now I'm in, you know I'm, I'm employed doing something in the arts because of because of the uh, impact that she had in my life it was so comforting to be able to send my kids to school and know that they had a safe place to be the theater provided them with friends and someone who cared about them. And Agnes expects a lot from her students and help them learn things not just in the theater, but also life skills that have been valuable to them. In, as they've moved forward, three of my six children have received scholarships based on the theater experience that they had in high school. And it's enriched their lives. They have careers that they enjoy because of the things that they learned in Agnes's class. When I went to her about costumes, she didn't just loan me costumes. She would take me into her beautiful costume room and she would show me which ones could work for that period. You know, even though she had this many, she could, I could work with these. And she was always teaching me about things that are significant in theater, things that I really wasn't prepared for when I started teaching. And um, technical things, how to run technical theater. Uh, she just really had it all, and she still does. I mean, she really does understand every aspect of theater. Aggie, you're a most deserving of this award. Congratulations. I'm pleased for you and proud of you. Well, congratulations. Um, for one thing, you deserve this. And just thanks for being a teacher, a mentor, and a friend. 
Agnes, congratulations on this well-deserved honor. We miss you and love you and always wish you the best. You have been a blessing to our theater community and I know you will continue to be. I know no matter what, I can always call and ask for anything from you and you'd give it to me because you're that kind of person. Thank you, congratulations, I love you tons. Congratulations, Agnes, yeah, well deserved. And I truly love you and I truly love uh, everything you've done for me and I, I really appreciate the kindness and uh, you know during school and then also as I've gotten older and uh, gone on to do theater so I love you so much and congratulations congratulations Agnes we love you so much thank you for everything Agnes you have been a wonderful friend you truly have we've been through a lot in these many many years and I thank you for really helping me be a better a better teacher. 